Fam Review. Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we're going to be going over another familiar that honestly is extremely easy to make and very, very nice to have. That familiar is going to be Binertoli. Now, Binertoli can be crafted around tier 17, but you can start farming them, I believe, at tier 15. So let's go and go over it. They have 5% earth resistance, not too great. 15 evade chance, which isn't the most in the world, but it's still very nice to have. It's great that it's evade and nothing else. And it also comes with 100% extort. This familiar honestly is very, very strong for a rare familiar. 100% extort means that at the beginning of every encounter, I guess, you automatically hit the closest uh, enemy and you gain that much shielded before anything else happens. So even if the opponent has like every point possible in speed, you will still hit them first unless they have extort. And I believe I'm not too sure on the priority with two extorts. It's probably at the same time. It's probably who has more speed or it's probably who has more total stats. I'm not entirely sure. I just know that extort will hit first for sure. For the build, we're going to go ahead and put all of a chance, nothing else. All you want on Binertoli is a a chance. The higher, the better. If you can put mythics on them, put mythics. If you can put perfect legendaries like these, put perfect legendaries. Anything less than that will make them a little less viable, but they're still pretty solid. Here, I'm going to be adding, I believe, an extra 24% of a chance, putting me at around 39, 40-ish of aid, which is not too bad. The chip, I like deals increased damage when the enemy only has one unit alive. The reason why I have this is because most of the time I run Binertoli is to deal with those people in PvP that just solo. They'll be there solo and they'll have this insane build that'll be very sustaining but still deal back enough damage. This is to help lower their health and let me finish them off before they can finish off any of my team. Most of the time I can handle them with ease, but sometimes it is a little harder. I know on my alt account, I use Binertoli because it helps me get rid of those guys that are a little stronger than me. So Binertoli comes in clutch. For the brain, I love attack strongest enemies when you get hit, only because I'm mainly trying to get the one person that is really strong that's honestly up front. And if they're not up front and my extort was wasted, I would like my brain to target them making it easier for me because right now i guess offensive tanks are in meta they've been in meta for a while and this helps out so so much trust me an attack strongest enemy when you get hit is probably the best brain on them you can have the attack closest you can also have an attack team anything goes even something defensive that'll help keep them alive but i personally think an attack strongest enemy when you get hit brain is the best case scenario for the Skeletal Lining, I like to put your first attack on an opponent deals increased damage. This is pretty nice because this will stack with this and it'll make it much better. We can go ahead and go on to the skills. There's only three. I don't think they matter. It's cool because the first one is a drain random enemy, which is nice sustain and it always does the most damage when it's random. Deals earth damage to closest enemy and strongest and root. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it roots both or just the strongest. I'm pretty sure it'll root both but that's awesome the fact that you have an attack strongest ability is very nice because you want to hit the strongest as much as possible with binertoli you that's his whole in my opinion the whole point of binertoli is to get rid of a very very strong tank up front so that is pretty nice and then you have this third one which is deals earth damage to the strongest enemy in drain two times so this is personally I, I think his better attack, but of course it is a 2 SP, which you're not going to be getting too often. You're going to need one Lermes Binner, which is going to be located at Thanity Sanctuary, which I believe is in tier 17. Yeah, tier 17. So here's the fam you're going to need in tier 17. You also get their schematic here, I believe. Binner Toli, yep. And for the other familiar, which is going to be Anatoly. You are going to find them in tier 15, Baba ba, uh, Bagabaya's uh, Fungal Lawn. <laughs> I believe it's tier 15. Yes, tier 15. I believe you can get the schematic here. Yes, Banner Toy Schematic. So this is where you pretty much get everything. 10k gold you can also get there, but you should have 10k gold by then. And 
In reality, since you only can stack up to three times, you only really need four Benertoli to take max advantage and use one with stabling, but I prefer to max stable. You don't have to. If you wanted to have a whole team, you could essentially just have three in the stable and then the rest just out if you didn't want to farm more. Let's just say you're being lazy about it, but I highly recommend just max stabling them for more stats. So that's going to be it for Benertoli. Where do I recommend using Benertoli? Now that's the thing. There's only one spot that I really recommend you use Benertoli, and that is in PvP. And I love using Benertoli, love, love, love using Benertoli in a three-man squad. Three-man squad, Benertoli is, I believe, the best case scenario because three-man squad is where people love to use their solo offensive tank strat. This is the best way to nuke them down as much as possible, and it'll help you get those dubs. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys have anything else to say about this familiar, please leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any recommendations on my next familiar review, leave it down there as well. Any tips and tricks will be amazing also. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.